In this tutorial, we will create model Minia 2025 phase 1. This is phase 2. So first we will create phase 1, then we will modify phase 1 to phase 2. Let's make phase 1 of model Minia 2025. Okay. Now here we have one, let's say top view, side view and there is a one section view. Now look, there is a section view A and section view B. This is section view B, this is A. Uh, sorry, this is B and this is A. Okay. Now let's let's check all dimensions are in millimeter, material, paint, carbon, steel. Okay. Now let's say total length of this oblong. This is a kind of simple slot. This slot size 150 outside to outside. And if you see in section view, this is the section view, the width 50 millimeter. And there is a inside there is a two circle, this diameter 40 millimeter. Okay. Let's make this. Then we will make this cutout. This cutout depth you will see here 10 millimeter from here, from inside wall to inside, 10 millimeter here also. And uh, you will see here width in section uh, A, 20 millimeter. See both sides. And wall thickness 10 millimeter from top also. And this radius going to be like a R2, all radius. And at center, 35 dia hole. Here, see 50 millimeter. Let's see how we can do this. Now, let's activate front plane sketch. Now, here you can activate center point straight slot. Now, start with origin point. Drag. Press escape key to out. Now here dimensions given from center to center. Now you can select here, see slot, select this one. So it will show you dimension outside, double click, 150 and this one 50. See, let me add two holes, activate circle. Press escape key to out and select these two equal. Smart dimension 40 millimeter. Now let me extrude. Go to feature and add material. So let's do extruded boss base feature. Now here keep end condition blind. Look, this is moving in perfect direction. Now here add material 100 divided by 2. We will make half body, then half we will mirror 50 millimeter. Say okay. Now for a uh, Cut out either you can use extruded cut feature or you can use shell feature. Shell 10 millimeter, the wall thickness 10 millimeter from all side. So 10 millimeter, select this face. Show preview. Now you will see the preview. Now let's say from top view. Now select this face and here apply. This depth only 20 millimeter and total depth is 50. So 50 minus 20, this is going to be 30 millimeter. So here write 30 millimeter and select this back face. Now look, the from back face to inside wall become 30 millimeter gap. So total 20 millimeter here. Say okay. And see, this is going to be. Now let's do mirror uh, fillet. Constant type fillet, here choose radius 2 millimeter and keep symmetric circular. First I am going to select this face. Now let me select this inside side wall. You will see, no need to select center one. Say OK. Now let's mirror this. So simply choose mirror. Here select back face and here choose Activate mirror to body, select direct whole body and you will see. Now here you can keep merge solid so both become one body, say ok. Look. Now let's say, let me apply here plain carbon steel. Ok. Now. Let me select this uh, fillet. I want to add some different color. Red. Fine. 
now this is part one go to configuration manager see this is by default part one now right click on configuration add configuration now here let's say phase two phase two okay now this is phase two now go to here okay let uh, okay let me again activate default now here add hole let me select this face sketch activate circle and make this diameter 35 go to feature and select extruded cut i want to remove material so here either use through all or choose up to surface for up to surface select back surface say okay now activate default phase two okay in phase two also we need to add before going extruded cut up to surface okay now we specially created for phase two phase one already has supposed to be we should do add this before creating phase two okay anyway let's go to phase two see this is suppress now this is the phase two drawing there is same top view side view and section view section c this is section c and section d this is section d and there is a detail this is the detail and broken section i'll tell you material plain carbon steel make changes as indicated in red revision cloud all other dimensions remain the same as in phase one okay this is phase two what dimension we have to change only this cloud uh, revision cloud mentioned phase two change order one change hole to hooks to add five degree draft to cut out in first phase we add draft to this cutout with the help of shell feature uh, we need to add draft to this cutout 5 degree see uh, horizontal vertical 5 degree okay and uh, you will see at this end this cutout we have to add see this cutout 40 millimeter from here from center is 50 so 10 millimeter from here 10 millimeter from here so the gap between these two become 20 millimeter and the radius goes to be 20 millimeter at both end you will see i'll i'll tell you how we can do this okay only these clouded portions we need to update first i'm going to uh, add this one so let me go do one thing go up to shell now let's change this one add draft section N neutral plane angle five degree now face you have to choose one neutral face so i'm going to select this face so the draft going to uh, modify according to this face now let me select these faces five face okay now here select show let me check top view now you will see the yellow line the draft going inside this is what we need similarly if i am going to select this side view you will see draft going to modify inside and see this is going to be right side say okay now if you make normal look draft already created five degree angle now that's fine come back and see both side is created now we need to create this one so let me select front plane a sketch activate circle this is the circle place up to outside even let's apply dimension line 
now let me connect from here to here again press L key and activate line now for 60 degree angle I have to make this one similarly do bottom side A smart dimension 60 degree 60 degree now this half circle we need to trim activate trim entity power trim just press and hold left mouse button and drag see okay delete okay now it's fully defined because this is coincide with this now I want to remove material just see go to feature extruded cut now here we have too many blocks so in selected contour I am going to select this one here end condition keep up to surface and here select up to surface back surface but I don't want to trim all only up to 10 mm offset we need here 10 mm gap so keep offset 10 millimeter just move this side this is moving wrong side reverse now check now these portions we need to remove say ok see now similarly we need to remove material from bottom side so what first you have to select this sketch extruded cut now in selected contour just keep cursor and select see this pink area is selected now direction up to surface here select surface this time this surface now 10 millimeter offset so start condition change 10 millimeter okay this is moving perfect inside say okay see now we need to remove this material 20 millimeter from mid again use select the same sketch extruded cut this time in selected contour choose all or select outer body see I selected all this time mid plane 20 millimeter now see 10 millimeter both side 10 millimeter here 10 millimeter here extruded cut now look we achieved our shape fill it 20 millimeter let me add 1 2 fine fillet 2 millimeter select don't select any select this face this face this face and one more face at bottom ok now let's mirror the same thing let's say right plane mirror drop down and which feature here choose feature to mirror ok this one cut out second cut out at bottom third cut out and uh, fill it fine say ok just check now I want to now if we already done here select face ok we done if you see some portions we okay let's do one thing material already apply yellow for whole body say okay now go to evaluate mass properties see 2483.33 gram this is the actual mass of the body with plain carbon steel 
Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.